What's up guys, GV here. We got an unboxing for you today. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Well, as you could probably tell, we picked up some new gear recently. Got a couple packages, so yeah, today we are going to unbox some stuff. Today, what are we unboxing? Today is a good day. We have been a company now as shooting of this video for about two and a half years and we've been shooting on Sony a7 III's pretty much the entirety of that time. Um, shooting with three simple prime lenses and uh, really haven't gone outside of that gear. Um, we really decided that this year was the year that we would level up our production and level up our gear. And uh, we found a great deal and uh, pulled the trigger. As you can see, in front of us here is the Ursa Mini Pro G2. This is a 4.6K um, la latest generation camera from Blackmagic. So um, coming from the a7 III's, obviously a huge upgrade. We really bought it for the production readiness um, as well as its raw capabilities, but just the ability to have dedicated XLR ports and monitoring options, just really enabling us to do bigger, better productions. Yeah, so we'll kind of just really tear down all these boxes, sh show you guys what's inside. And uh, from there, we really want to just show you how we chose to build our rig. We tried to really find the pieces of equipment that would make it as functional as possible while staying very clean, organized, and not have any loose cables dangling anywhere. So yeah, should we unbox all this? Let's uh, yeah. let's get to opening the boxes. Woohoo! Let's do it. Oh, I got the good one first. Ooh. Woo! Ooh, that's a good one too, though. Yeah. I mean, are any of them bad? No. This was thirty dollars. <laughs> Why? Look at this thing. It's just a little. Gotta love C fast cards, right? Right. Totally love them. They're they're Great. cheap. They're so cheap. Not. Nah. Hi, mom. Whoo! That was a lot of gear. Oh, bro, we have one more. Dibs. No. I called it. I said dibs. Okay. Fine, dude. <laughs> All right. We'll do it together. Fine. Squishy stuff. Some more squishy stuff. We pretty much got everything that we needed to properly rig this Ursa up. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, we are starting from scratch, just the camera. So um, I guess, yeah, we can start putting stuff on. I'm gonna start with the top plate. And uh, right here, this is the top plate that we chose. This is the small rig top plate for Ursa. Um, we love small rig. All of this stuff is gonna be small rig. So shout out to you, small rig. Good job, keep it up. Cool. Top plate assembled. Here we go. Side plate. Here we go. Small rig as well. Was it this one that came with that? We'll uh, put this bad boy right here. Well, it's locked on, but as you can see, it uh, is not straight. So we'll have to get in contact with small rig, see why that's not straight. But for now, we'll leave it. What's next? So, as you can see on this top plate, there is a built-in NATO rail. Um, so we're actually gonna use that for our EVF mount. So we got a NATO rail EVF mount that doesn't fit. Let's so do it this way. So we got this NATO EVF mount that we will put our monitor on. Use that for that one. Mm -hmm. Then, so we're gonna use this other NATO rail that we picked up for 
the handle. That way we can have an easy way to mount the handle on and off the camera. So we'll go ahead and put this right here. Tighten that down. Okay, I gotta grade the handle, I think. All right, he, he's gonna go get the handle now. I'll just, I'll just wait. All right, rubber top handle will go right on here, like so. Ooh, so clean. Nice. The reason that we got the thin NATO rail is, if you can see something like this one, it just sticks up so much from the camera. So we tried to keep our rig as compact as possible. So we just use these low profile NATO rails yeah. and uh, they work awesome. And then it works that this has a built-in one in the front that we can mount the monitor to and really just keep things to where when we, when we take the handle, we can take the handle and monitor off the camera in a matter of seconds and it's not, it's not gonna be an extra three inches tall because of all of these rails and different things. So right. keeps it so it'll fit in the case, which it's gonna be this case right here. Um, side handle. So this is the side handle that we're going to put mount here um, on the side of the camera so that we can actually attach the microphone um, directly to the camera. We also chose to go with CFast cards. So as you can see um, in this top down angle, these are the CineDisc Pro CFast 2.0 cards. We debated on going the solid state adapter route. Uh, it's a lot cheaper for solid state drives. CFast cards are stupid expensive. Yep. Um, however, again, we wanted to keep our rig as compact as possible and that adds another two inches to the back of your camera. So right. um, decided to go with CFast. We could have gone with USB-C, but I just think with the, the 4.6K, the spot that they put the USB-C port is kind of dumb. It's inside this LCD, so you can't you can't close it up. You have to remove it. You have to have something to mount it up here, which just adds, again, more bulk, more clutter. And so we decided to go with the CFast route. So we have two of those in there, two SD cards. We can close this up, leave them in there. We don't have to take them out every time we pack away the camera. So it just keeps it nice and light and uh, compact. That's right. While he's finishing that up, you're probably wondering, well, Austin and Darren, how are you gonna shoot with the camera with no lens? What? Well, we're gonna tell you. That's a good question. So, as many others have on this camera, we bought the Sigma 18 to 35. Right here. Um, we just figured for now that this would be the best single lens that we could get. We don't have to worry about buying three lenses right now. We get a good focal range. Um, we also have a Sigma R35, so we have a prime and uh, we have an 85 as well, so we can cover some of those longer, um, longer focal lengths. But uh, I think the 85 or the 18 to 35 will be really great for us um, for now. Bad Trying to put it on. I'm just looking at it. Put it on, guys. Dude. We just love Sigma art lenses. Yeah, they're great. They're just, they're just great. Throw it on there, dude. It's a, uh, it's so clean. Just can we just look at it? Look how clean that looks. Oof. Oof. Put it on there, dude. Let's just go ahead and... Whoosh. Yeah, that feels better already. It feels nice. It's great. Yeah, that feels great. It looks like a real camera now, too. So that's cool. The intent was to have this go right here, but uh, it seems that that will not work. I'm putting on another NATO rail because the one that came on the side plate doesn't fit our handle. So now, go ahead and snap that bad boy on there. There we go. Nice little side handle here. Got our uh, cold shoe mount for a microphone. What else? What else we got, Darren? Well, we were pretty excited about this one. Um, we also love small HD. We've been using Small HD Focus 5s for a really long time, and then we've been using the 7 and Focus 7, and we love them. Um, I know they're the cheaper end, but we can beat the crap out of them. If we break one, we can buy another one. Um, no problem. Well, we uh, upgraded to a big boy monitor. Look at that beaut. Ain't she a beaut? Whoo! Whoo, doggy! Comes with a screen protector, so that's great. We'll be uh, putting that bad boy on here. 
It does not come with an SDI cable. It does not. So, just so everyone knows. Small HD. Get your crap together. It's a $1,300 monitor. Give us an SDI cable. Please. This was $30. Just, just put it in the box. Put it in the box. So this is uh, kind of the upgrade to the Focus 7, I guess. And uh, as you probably know, if you have a cinema camera, you can't run the Focus 7. Well, you can, you can use a converter, but um, you can't run SDI into the Focus monitors. They are HDMI only. So this one has both SDI and HDMI um, along with cross conversion. So you could actually run SDI in, HDMI out to a monitor on the side or, or whatever. And so, um, yeah, we just, uh, we debated on the, the Blackmagic Design's own video assist, mm -hmm. uh, but the problem was it had a big old fan in the back, and if we're gonna be doing any on-camera running gun audio stuff, we don't wanna hear that fan, and uh, it, it, I've heard it gets really hot and that fan can get pretty loud. So this uh, does not have fans, so it will not hopefully be loud. And we got a screen protector. Should we put the screen protector on? Look at that. That is a perfect screen application right there. If I yeah. do say so myself. So we wow, go. that's we'll a keep, freaking beautiful monitor. Keep that nice and clean. All right, should we put this on that on this bad boy? Yeah, you wanna grab that off the camera. Make sure that's nice and tight so your monitor doesn't flop around. Yeah, you don't want no flopping, that's for sure. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that makes me happy right there. This one rotates too. Should we see if our uh, SDI cable will reach? Dang, this thing's stiff. Sick. So we got a, a six inch cable, SDI cable, because we again, we didn't want to have a you know a bunch of wires hanging and uh, six inches seems to be just, just enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, next, batteries. So we got, uh, these are the Core SWX 98. Uh, watt hour or yeah sure whatever that means yeah. uh, nano 98s they're not huge we have a bigger one but for um, something that's small lightweight and compact we have a couple of these these came with the camera from the party on Facebook that we bought it from mm -hmm. so we'll go ahead and lock that in I'll put these on yep just Sony L style batteries okay what's next should we turn it on just turn it on all right Let's flip this bad boy on. SDI. Here we go. Here we go. All right, there's there our video is. input for SDI. Let's go ahead and turn our backlight up. Wow. The thing is bright for sure. That is a, a beefy rig right there. Yep. So yeah, this is the first time we have seen our camera um, in fully operating mode aside from getting the microphone on there and you know the base base plates and little things but um, so we're pretty excited this is a this is a big deal for us it doesn't really feel like it's ours <laughs> it's <know>? true <laughs> We also got a track pack foam. This is for the Pelican 1510 case, which you can see right here. We love them. And uh, that's what we use for all of our Sony gear. Mm -hmm. And we had a third one and it just happened to fit the Ursa perfectly. Yep. So we'll, uh, we'll divide it all out, get those dividers cut up. We'll put it in there um, and we'll, yeah, have a, a little home for the Black Magic. Ursa, little Ursa mini boy. Well guys, that's really it. Guys, if you have any questions about this rig at all or anything that we're doing in our company, please feel free to comment below, hit us up. Anything we can do to help uh, teach you what we've learned on our short journey as filmmakers. All of the items that we've just unboxed and put on our Ursa will be in the description below. So feel free to check that out if you're looking to build out a cinema camera, kind of like the way that we have it. We're excited to get to shooting with the Ursa. We have our first project on it coming up here soon. So we're very, very excited for that. Yeah. But uh, if you guys have any tips on any other accessories that we have to get or must know things about the Ursa, must have accessories, feel free to leave us a comment below. Make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, We'll be putting out a lot more cinematography content here in the upcoming future as we dive into shooting with a real cinema camera for the first time. Kind of feels like a machine gun. You know what I mean? Whoa! It's not a prime lens. 
That's weird. Fun fact, we've never used zoom lenses in our whole company. Ever. Not one time.